Hello J'espère que vous avez passé un bon week-end. Euh, Aujourd'hui, on va continuer Café Rouge, euh, le visual novel que j'avais fait euh, deux fois, je crois. On va essayer de faire une bonne fin parce que c'est super galère. On avait essayé la fin du patron que... Ouais, c'est Antoine, ouais. Mais je suis morte. Et la dernière fois, on avait essayé... Valen et on est mort aussi. Donc euh, on va essayer. Enfin, je sais pas, peut-être on devrait essayer le prof. Mais euh, c'est super dur de, de faire des bons choix dans le jeu, c'est un cauchemar. Finir par regarder des routes si ça continue. C'est tellement la poisse. Et euh, aujourd'hui, c'est le dernier jour euh, du giveaway. Euh, le tirage, normalement, il se fait automatiquement sur le site euh, à 19h. 
on regardera ça du coup euh, ensemble à ce moment-là. Je mets des musiques en fond avec euh, Nightbot en attendant, mais le jeu, je sais pas, des fois il y a du son, des fois il n'y en a pas, alors euh, <rire> dis-moi au cas où, et si jamais euh, il si y a de la musique, je, je couperai Nightbot à ce moment-là. Un peu chiant, mais bon. Ah ouais, c'est vrai que j'ai pas pensé la dernière fois à faire des saves... Euh... Au bon moment, on va skipper comme la dernière fois les moments qu'on a déjà fait. De toute façon, on le... a bien coché dans les paramètres. Non, il enfin, faudrait que je check, mais pour que ça keep seulement ce qu'on n'a pas vu. Attends, ouais, bah non, ça ne l'a pas. Pourquoi ça le désactive de base Je veux pas que ça skip tout. Comme ça, les, les textes qu'on n'a pas vus, ils nous les mettront. Et dites-moi si le son y est trop fort, si jamais. Ok. Euh, là, c'est le premier choix que l'alarme. Euh, si on veut voir le prof, il me semble qu'il faut se lever tôt parce qu'on on, l'avait fait une fois, genre, get up now, et on, on était tombé sur lui euh, avant d'aller à l'école. Ok. Moi non plus, je suis pas du genre matinal. Ça peut-être un bon moment pour couper. En vrai, je devrais couper directement depuis euh, au BS pour être tranquille. Voilà. Euh, Vas-y, let's go. Ouais, du coup, on tombe sur lui. On tombe sur Valen après. Mais vu qu'on veut pas euh, continuer avec Valen, euh, on devrait être méchant avec lui. <rire> aïe aïe aïe. Ok. Attends, attends, attends. Ça, c'est quoi déjà oh. oh putain <rire> On arrive plus à un bon moment <rire> Avec un disque, un sup. Euh. Ouais. On s'en a déjà vu. Antoine qui va nous engager finalement. On est à la plonge. Après, on découvre leurs secrets. Euh, là, qu'est-ce que je. Il faudrait que je me réveille tout de suite, il me semble. Bon, on serait quand même obligé de, de parler avec euh, Antoine dans son bureau, mais je pense que ça fait moins de points pour lui. Still awake, ok. Ok. Voilà, il nous raconte tout. Après, on va rentrer. Nos parents, ils sont insupes. Et on reçoit un message de Valen. Malheureusement pour lui, on fait pas sa route du coup. Euh, on va pas lui répondre. Il va nous faire un peu la gueule, je crois. Hmm. Quel prof euh, Qu'est-ce qui se passe déjà à ce moment-là euh... Ouais, à quoi que... Ah, je sais plus. Je crois qu'il faut skipper les cours. Comme ça, le prof, il va se demander où est-ce qu'on est et il va venir nous voir. Que ça. Ah, du coup, on est devant l'école. Je le savais. <rire> Alors, hey, Ver, you're that girl from V over there, Nakas. Uh, what are you doing out here? Should you be in class? I turned it the other way without answering. You know, skipping class isn't good for the model student. <laughs> C'est vrai qu'on est élève un peu modèle. <laughs> Je sais même plus si elle sait encore qu'elle est, qu est prof ou pas. I know, oh mon dieu, elle est vénère. <laughs> Il step back sur surprise at my scream. Oh mon dieu. Elle est en mode vénère. Je vais remettre. 
Um, I didn't say more, to be honest. I didn't know what to say or what to do. I didn't feel like going to class. Everything that happened last night was too much of a shock. A part of me was too scared to face those bloodthirsty vampires. Just the, the thought of watching them pierce open human flesh and drink that. Ah, oh, no, la peau. En même temps, ça doit être traumatisant si tu tombes sur une euh, scène comme ça. Uh, my hand stretched up to my mouth <laughs> as if I was about to puke. What in the world have I gotten myself into? Eh, uh, you don't look so good. Oh! He reached towards me with his hand, but I slapped it away. Ta, elle est vénère. <laughs> Je bien que ça va pas trop, mais pas besoin de taper sur tout le monde là. On a kick Valen. Et là, on n'arrête pas de rejeter le prof, genre méchamment, on le crie dessus. Uh, please don't touch me. I... Are you sure you don't want to go to the nurse? If you're not feeling well, I completely understand that you're not feeling good enough to go to class. I don't want to go to the nurse office. I stopped mid-sentence. The student's teacher facial expression suddenly changed uh, as he looked at me. <laughs> He's trying to rouge. And a blush cut onto his face. His eyes blinked rapidly for a few short seconds before he, he regained control of his eyelid as he stared at me. Pourquoi d'un coup il... Il réagit comme ça, là. Okay, c'est bizarre, je sais pas ce qui se passe dans sa tête, mais ouais, tu vois. Uh, I blink, confused, not recognizing the reason of his sudden change in facial expression. Uh, sorry, I can't talk about it. Something bad happened to me last night. It's not anything you don't understand. Ouais, ça... Uh pas le dire de toute façon sinon elle est un peu dans la merde et sa famille aussi uh, I turned my head down facing the concrete pavement whatever it is that's bothering you just remember tomorrow is another day oh mon dieu <laughs> c'est Ron ok Ron Davinson je crois uh, you're still alive which means ah putain c'est trop dur à dire ce mot. It eventually pass whatever it is what's troubling you. I didn't say anything. I just continued to stare down into the pavement, trying not to pay any attention to him. Un peu chaud de taper un vent devant quelqu'un qui te parle. Uh, unexpectedly, he suddenly cried my hand. What? Come on, let's go somewhere fun. Eh? <laughs> what are you? What else? We're skipping school. <laughs> J'ai jamais vu un, un prof skipper l'école, c'est chelou. Ah, il m'amène à l'endroit de mes traumatismes en plus. Super. <laughs> Après, il sait pas. Uh, arriving at the familiar corner. He pulled me along as we arrived at the cafe. I love the ice cream here. He continued to drag me along and I followed him a little bewildered. We were here, at the very place I dreaded coming to. <laughs> I was so too shocked to say anything. Did he know the people who were here? The customers that only come at night. Ça, j'en sais rien, mais. No, he didn't seem like a vampire. I better play it cool and not say anything. Uh, what do you want? Vanilla, chocolate, cookie dough? Oh, I'm done fun, tout ça. <laughs> oh, cookie dough, c'est trop bon. Um, chocolate is fine. Oh. Donc on peut pas choisir la glace. What here then? 
même si ça change absolument rien à l'histoire, mais... <rire> Il set me down on a round table and headed inside. After a few minutes, he excited the scarlet door and came back carrying a cup of chocolate ice cream and a cup of black raspberry ice cream. Raspberry, c'est quoi déjà ça Oh, je crois que c'est pas le genre de glace que j'aime. Pas acide en plus. Uh, here, I never tried the chocolate before, but I bet it's really good. Ça dépend, c'est chocolat classique. Uh, looking down at the icy treat, I continue to stare, still not eating, still not comprehend. Bon, en même temps. C'est trop bizarre la situation. En plus, c'est pas comme si on le connaissait bien, quoi. Aren't you going to eat? You are the most random, stupid ass teacher of me, but. I'm in trocage! T'as su qu'elle a 16 ans, 17 ans, t'as que ça? Oh, on est si vénère à cet âge Mon dieu! Ah, what's the first? He continues to eat his black raspberry ice cream without any concern. Uh, aren't you going to get in? Trouble, I mean, I'm a student and you're technically my teacher. Isn't this a date? <laughs> no, I just say I took you home because you weren't feeling well. It'll, it'll, it'll be fine. Ça veut dire que il dit pas non que c'est sur mon un date. You promise you think? Uh, if he says so. I look down at my treat, taking the little spoon, I scoop a little chunk of chocolate and proceed it in onto the taste bud uh, on my tongue. The sweet sensation of cocoa seeped into my mouth, sending endorphin to my brain. It was delicious. Thanks, this is really good. Uh, we start having some l laugh and smile. What? Why are you doing this? <laughs> um, I guess you could say that... Oh. <laughs> he stopped eating and what's me eat mine. Oh, elles sont trop belles les glaces en vrai. Je sais pas si dans le jeu on peut... Check euh, l'illustration. Ah non, on peut pas en dire. Ah... Mais certains jeux, euh, je crois que les... ce qu'on appuie sur l'espace, euh, ça enlève le texte et on peut mieux vous regarder. Après, on peut toujours la regarder plus tard euh, dans la galerie. Non. Et on va faire vu quelqu'un de si cash. Euh, T'es là pour euh, devenir un prof ou pour pécho tes élèves euh... Je suis Et just sort to my uh, black. Then he pointed at my pink earring, black raspberry. <laughs> oh no! A pink spread over my cheek as I flushed, looking the other way. Mon dieu, you're really weird. I grave chelou. Moi, je dis c'est red flag. Hmm. Uh, quietly, we finish on eating our ice cream. Um, Mr. Davidson offered to walk me on, but I told him I knew my way from here soon. We said our goodbyes and parted the ways. Oh là Ah oh, ouais, c'est vrai qu'on doit travailler. Opening the door, I was greeted by a loud screaming. Ah oh, non, c'est le coup du chef Cuisto qui... qui se crame les cheveux là. Je sais même plus comment il a fait son compte. Voilà, c'est la chaîne Hmm. Water spill all over us. But what the... Sorry. Ouais, on va passer cette scène vu qu'on l'avait déjà vu de toute façon l'autre fois. Et... Ouais, là on est... Ah, par contre, je... Oh. Est-ce que c'est le début de la... Comment dire Je pense qu'on a fait la route de base là qui définit un peu comment... Avec qui on finit mais maintenant, je pense que ça va être... Euh... Comment on finit, là <rire> Je sais pas, moi. 
En plus, je l'ai jamais fait avant ce... cette route. Et je sais pas du tout c'est quoi les bons choix. Pas comme si j'avais déjà réussi à faire une bonne fin, après. <rire> ouais, peut-être une, mais une moitié de bonne fin, on va dire. Je survis, mais Antoine y était mort. <rire> euh, je sais pas si c'est une bonne fin. Aïe. Ah, euh, hmm. oh, take a bucket, vas-y. On va aider. Euh... Et comment Aldo, je sais plus. Ouais, c'est Aldo le chef. Ok. Ah, oh, le mec crépit là. Ah, oh, j'ai pas envie de te voir, Chris. En plus, je crois qu'on a débloqué les... les fins secondaires avec tous les autres persos. C'est vrai que je, je check. Mais en plus, je me demande, enfin, ce jeu est tellement mal programmé que... Est-ce que les bonnes fins, genre, ils sont mis dans le menu, dans la liste Enfin, faudrait que je vous montre, mais... On va dire essayer de faire une fois, bon, si on meurt tant pis, hein, mais... Et je checkerai un peu le, le, le menu, je sais qu'on peut directement aller dans les routes, de... les routes spéciales, euh, comme ça. Je sais pas s'ils considèrent les bonnes fins des persos principaux des, des routes spéciales, je sais pas trop. Euh... Ok Antoine. Ah là c'est le souvenir qu'on a de notre pendentif machin. On se réveille à l'école. On voit Valen et Mister Davinson et lui fait une remarque pas ouf. Ok bah après il savait pas c'est pas sa faute. Ah voilà ça y est. Un truc qu'on n'a pas vu. Well maybe a break from the cafe will do me good. Working too much might be an alpha, especially since my co-workers are vampires. Uh, Alright, but the deadline soon. Sh make sure you get uh, the check and form to me by Friday. Uh, turning around, Mr. Davidson begin walking the other direction. Uh, Mr. Davidson, he stopped midway in the try to look back. Yes? Ah, uh, thank you for the other day. His eyes shone a can you. <laughs> His arms stretched forward as he was about to take a step towards me. Oh, il a hésité. I could have sworn he leaned forward to, to tower over me. Ah ouais, peut-être qu'il se rend compte aussi qu'il est à l'école et qu'il faut qu'il fasse gaffe aussi. But in a split second, he stopped himself, grounding his feet. It's the least I can do to help my students. Hmm. Oui, enfin, je sais pas. Ah, C'est gentil, mais ça peut-être un peu beaucoup. Uh, with a smile and a wave, he continued down the road until we finally lost sight of each other. Time to go to work. It was another usual day. Everybody was cleaning and setting things up while I closed the door behind me. Euh, normalement, on va pouvoir euh, skip là. Ouais. Euh, Qu'est-ce qui se passe Ah ouais, on doit donner un coup de main. On va tous aller les voir. Hein. Candice. Chris. Pire cauchemar. Ah, t'as pas le droit de m'enregistrer. Mais je sais même pas s'il a vraiment des sentiments. Je sais qu'il y a une fin avec lui, mais je l'ai jamais faite. Pas trop envie. En vrai, par curiosité, ça pourrait être drôle, mais... Euh, Errol... Et même lui, je me demande s'il y a des trucs qui se passent avec lui, parce que... On va pas le voir... Enfin, on le voit à peine, quoi, après ce qui va lui arriver. Et Diane, elle est trop, trop belle. Hmm... Dans mes bras. On va conforter si jamais il arrive un truc. <rire> euh... Ok, ça se passe quoi déjà Ah ouais, le coup du couteau dans le placard à balai. Après, il y a la sortie. Euh... Ça doit être des nouveaux trucs parce que je me souviens pas qu'il y avait un truc à ce moment-là. Euh... After 
Mr. Davinson, let me get... Ah, ah ok, attends, il s'était passé quoi là Ah ouais, je crois que c'était des élèves qui nous avaient poussé ou un truc comme ça. Je peux... Ah si, je peux monter. Oh, ouais, c'était ça. Ah ouais, les meufs qui étaient jalouses que... Je... Valon, c'est mon pote et tout là. Elle gosse. Euh... Ah... Donc, qu'est-ce que ça dit We continued walking down the path, following behind the rest of the group. Ask about café Ça veut dire quoi Ask about school Genre, par reparler de l'autre fois au café, c'est ça qu'il veut dire, sûrement Et... Je peux pas parler de l'école, enfin, je sais pas. En vrai, je pense que c'est une bonne idée de reparler du café. Uh, have you always been to Café Rouge? He look away for a moment before he turned back to smile at me. I used to always go there with my family when I was a kid. Plus, I know someone who worked there. Oh, oui, c'est vrai. Wait, wait. What is he saying? Does that mean he know about vampire? I didn't dare to ask. Oh, then... You must get free ice cream, man. <laughs> Not really. I still have to pay, unfortunately. She's really strict. She? I didn't dare press further. The field trip flew by like a breeze. I was back at school before I knew it, and I had... I had lots of questions dying to be answered. But for now, I, I need to head to work. Allez, on skip le café. Ah, il se passe quoi déjà à ce moment-là Je sais plus. Ah ouais, c'est le coup. Est-ce qu'on tombe sur Valen et qu'on découvre sa véritable identité Ah, on va aller de là, je pense. Et puis s'il nous demande quelque chose, il n'y a pas de choix. Ok, on rentre à la maison. School continued on a no as normal. Every day I will come to school and every day Mr. Davinson will take the time to come chat with me before and after class. After school. It was a pleasant time. Any plan for college yet? Uh, um... My parents didn't give me any college savings, so I'm not sure if I should go. It seems awfully expensive, and I don't know how I'm going to pay it all off. Oh, it's toujours uh, super cher. Là. The fuck? Surtout que ses parents, ils ont pas l'air trop aimés, alors. Enfin, ils en ont déjà marre de payer ses frais de médicaux. Je pense pas qu'ils lui paieront euh, la fac. <laughs> Uh, your parents are interesting. Interesting, I suppose so. Why do you think that? As I continued learning more and more about him, the more I began to like him. Bon, je pense qu'on est sur la bonne route. Uh, the taste continued uh, and on, and slowly I began to realize I was slowly, slowly falling for him. Which was why that One day. Oh! Thank you for the follow, Canarix! Welcome! His news become a big shock to me. Oh! And welcome, Vap2! Uh, good morning, everybody. I have an announce announcement today. Tomorrow will be my last day. <gasps> Did it just say last day? Things have come comes up and I have to switch schools. Your normal normal history teacher will come back after I leave. Everybody grounded. With Mr. Davidson here, people were able to get away with so much stuff. <laughs> He really is so soft. He really is a softie. Now that that's over, let's start class. Rani, do you want a, a goodbye present? We should throw a goodbye party. <laughs> Somebody ordered Chinese or pizza. 
No, both. Um, I I appreciate all this, but um, as expected, we skip class entirely as the student took over. Comment il se il sait pas gérer quand même les élèves ils prennent toujours le contrôle de ses cours j'ai l'impression. I took uh, my time working down the hall. Mr. Davidson just left the classroom and, and headed the same direction as I was. Oh mon dieu, la pauvre putain, elle était tombée amoureuse de lui. Et puis là, il, il dit comme ça quand il se barre, et il lui a pas dit plus tôt quoi. I couldn't lose my chance to talk to him one more time. Uh, Mr. Davidson? Yes. He said my name. Not that I muttered or anything. Uh, ask him why he's a good boy. Let's say... I think we'll ask him why he's going. Why are you switching schools? Is it fi financial reasons? Or... Sort of in some smile and sigh. Both, I suppose. I've always wanted to be a high school teacher, but the pressure from the students. I'm not good at disciplining older kids. Ah, ça j'ai vu ça. Pas très doué. Ah, I looked away. Was that? Was that really the reason? Some part of me wanted to beg him not to go. Uh, why did you have to leave now? I won't, won't, I won't ever see him again. You should really get to class. Uh, Pell's gonna ring soon. Unless you're gonna skip little miss. Black grass, maybe? <laughs> he checked and you got this mail. What? Flashing red, I put it and slapped his hand away. <laughs> Elle est toujours violente cette fille. I only skip it that one time and stop calling me that. Aren't you going to get in trouble for, you know, taking me out? Nope. I already paid the guidance counselor to keep quiet. <laughs> oh non, il a payé quelqu'un pour qu'il se taise. Mr. Davidson smiled pleasantly down at me. You're one of those evil corrupt personality type, aren't you? <laughs> Why thank you? That's not a compliment. <laughs> he patted my shoulder trying to keep his lo lover in. Uh, we should both head to our next class now. He was leaving already? Oh, um, alright. Arriving at the hallway intersection, I was about to turn the opposite direction when I felt a tap on my shoulder. Uh, Mr. Davidson bent down to whisper into my ear. Smile a bit more. You're cute when you do. He <laughs> turned and left. left. <laughs> Heart pounding in my chest. I could only conclude one thing. Is the most random, stupid, evil ass teacher I've ever met. <laughs> oh no. Well, time for another day at the cafe. Ay, ay, ay. Ok. Bon, allez. C'est time. Ah non, y'a pas. Ok, ça veut dire qu'il y a des nouveaux textes. Yes, alone by myself, but bothering to head into the kitchen or to find anybody for that matter, I fo folded my hands together, starting in, staring into the pâtisserie glass casing of dessert. They all looked so delicious, so tasty and so sweet. I could just image the taste in my mouth, forgetting for one moment and be distracted by its taste. Make you forget for... One moment and take you to a place where you can be happy. <laughs> ouais bah, de pas la la voir souvent à la vitrine après. <laughs> oh attends, j'y pense vrai, j'ai pas tout regardé. C'est quoi ça? Ça ressemble à des canoles. 
crois que... Enfin, il doit faire de la pâtisserie d'un peu partout dans le monde, je pense. Pas forcément que la française. Italien, je suis... Happy. Tiny droplets of water dripping onto the glass case. No, it wasn't water. Oh non, pleure pas. <laughs> Reaching up to my face, I brushed off the liquid leaking down my cheek. Um, am I crying? What's wrong with me, Jeez? The scarlet door opened. Wiping away the tears, I smiled and turned to greet the customer. Oh, Vas-y, on parie combien que c'est le preuve. <laughs> Welcome to the Café Rouge, oh my god. I... I jumped the moment I saw who it was. <laughs> Mr. Davidson. Oh, um, oh. It was my... Uniform up and down. <laughs> oh, this is your part time job. Yes, um, did you come here for ice cream? No, I mean, do you, are you a... Oh, est-ce qu'il va me demander? Oh no, of course not. Wait, do you know about Ronnie? <gasps> We both turned toward the voice. And this was hurting toward us. Sim oh putain, <laughs> je déteste moi. Simultaneously, Mr. Davidson and I exchanged confused glances. What the heck was going on here? Uh, didn't I tell you I'd meet you at the parking lot? Sorry, I got worried. Uh, then it turned on me. Could it be is dating Candice? My chest grew heavy. Oh, so you two know each other? Ah, uh, yes, I've known her for years. You're not my um. No, she isn't. How do you two know each other? Um, I. She's one of my students from my teaching, teaching internship. Yeah, just some student. Sorry, I guess I'm keeping you two from your date. <laughs> both of them gave me a strange look. Unexpectedly, they both started laughing. Ah oh yes, I keep forgetting how faster your age, how faster your you age compared to me. Ah oh yes, I guess we do look like a couple, don't we, Aunt Candy? <laughs> And <laughs> oh my dear, this is my nephew Ronnie. Maya's moved back and forth between them, confused. But uh, Mr. Davidson is human. How is it possible for a vampire to be re related to a human? Uh, Candice looked down, her face stricken with a, a no pain. Ah bah après, elle se rend pas compte aussi que tous les vampires, c'est pas des purs sangs. Et... Euh, une grosse partie d'entre eux, c'est des humains transformés. Et je pense que c'est le cas de Candice. Uh, Mr. Davidson placed place a hand on her shoulder. And Candy? Oh, mais on l'a fait blanc, on est trop nul. <laughs> a little blonde side, forcing a smile on her face. Let's go to the dining hall. There's something you should know. Oh. Walking bits beside Mr. Davidson, Candice led us through toward an empty table in the corner. He sat down and I took a seat beside him. Tea? Water? Uh, tea, please. What she's having? Candice nodded and without giving much thought, she left. A few moments later, she came back carrying a large teapot and a few teacups. Sorry, how should I start? She tapped her finger on the table, pondering. Ah, uh, Chris probably told you the majority about the vampire race, right? Ah, uh, yes, on the first day. 
Did you say anything about the taboo? The what? I shook my head, the blonde narrowed her eyes, letting out a sigh. There is one thing absolutely forbidden in our society, and that is bringing an ordinary human into vampire life. Vampire life? Changing a human into a vampire. So it, so it was possible after all. I leaned myself closer. I leaned myself closer, waiting for her to continue. You see these things? She opened her mouth, showing off her sharp teeth, including two top fangs on top. Uh, when a vampire bites, a venom is secreted for all things. This venom isn't a poison, instead it's a type of chemical which gives off the same feeling as a... <laughs> it's a re reward for the victim in... Wait, oh putain, le son est super fort par contre. Ça me fait mal aux oreilles. In which we can feed off of without dealing with the panic and other reflex. Ah ouais, c'est un moyen de calmer la personne quoi pour qu'il puisse. Uh, does the venom? No, it doesn't change the human into a vampire. She got up and reached toward me. Would you like to have a taste? I hesitated nervously. I often out my hand. Uh, lifting up my white sleeve, Candice revealed my naked wrist. The vein was pulsing probably as quickly as the fear seeping into my face. Oh mon dieu, ah, c'est vrai qu'il change de couleur. Il oh, y a ce genre de truc là. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Mais plus j'ai mis. Ah oh, voilà. Uh, her red eyes started back. Making sure I could watch properly. Slowly, Candice opened her jaw, and soft, a soft piercing of flesh could be heard as her fangs sank into my pale skin. I cringed from the pain, but almost immediately, something strange flooded to my wrist. Ouais, enfin, ça fait mal au début, puis après ça fait, ça lui fait plus rien quoi. Without any warning, her fang left my wrist. You see? <laughs> Candice let go of me, placing a bandage over a small punctual wound. Uh, I twisted my wrist back and forth. Fascination dra drawing me in as I couldn't stop looking at my unique piercing. <laughs> C'est trop chelou la manière dont il décrit. Oh wait, but what does Venom have to do with all this? How is it related to the taboo if every vampire has this? Ah uh, well, not all vampires have the same Venom. Not all? She turned her head, uh, tapping her finger onto the ivory tablecloth. There was a heavy crease from all the continuous tapping. So, some unfortunate babies are born without the normal venom. Instead, they are born with a special type. A type of venom in which cause the most exciting pain one could possibly feel. What? Alors, au lieu de, de soulager la... Enfin, comme... Uh, elle disait, il y en a certains qui naissent avec euh, un venom qui, qui provoque une douleur intense. And once bitten, human immediately undergo the change. Ah, et du coup, ça les transforme. Change The transformation into fire. Du coup, ça veut dire qu'il n'y en a pas beaucoup. C'est rare des vampires comme ça. All was quiet in the tidy dining hall. Perhaps Candice wanted the information to sink into my head, 
So she remained silent along with Mr. Davinson. Et je suppose qu'elle est l'un d'entre eux. Enfin, qui a été transformée du monde. C'est pour ça que là, de la famille, euh, ils sont encore en main, quoi. But I had one last question. You said unfortunate. What did you mean by that? A pregnant vampire mother go through an examination, and if it is found the baby was a special gene for the special venom, they are aborted before they can can be born. What? My mouth kept it open. Uh, that's horrible. Taking babies forcibly away for from their mothers and putting them to death just for being born the way they are it's just love for us vampire vampires with the ability to change human into vampire are not meant to exist in society but why i'm not sure i'm not so sure myself i slumped back into my seat I continue to look down, still in shock. Uh, why are you telling me all this, Candice? She repeated down sadly, lowering her voice to a whisper. Because I too was also human. All three of us walked back into the cafe lobby. Candice took her pulse and covered her over belonging. Elle s'en va. Picking a kiss on her nephew's cheek, she patted his, his shoulder. I gotta go speak with the big boss. Wait for me outside. Oh, okay. On the way around one. Uh, the little blonde left through the kitchen door. Shall we go outside? He smiled at down at me, gesturing toward the scarlet door. Aïe aïe Je pense pas qu'elle a envie de trop raconter par rapport à ce qui lui est arrivé quoi. De traumatisant. Uh, so, what school are you going to? Mm. It's a middle school, a free hour drive from this town. He stepped farther away from me, watching the slow traffic and pa passerby pedestrian. This was my chance. Ah! Say quoi? Say goodbye yourself. Say thanks. Ah, je vais save. Putain, j'aurais dû prendre un snack. Je commence déjà à avoir la dalle. <laughs> Ah, uh, say thanks, I guess. I should be um, getting back to work. All right. Thank you, Mr. Davinson. I hope you have fun at the new... I headed back inside the cafe, closing the scarlet door behind me. Time to head on. Ah, ils ont skippé. Ah ouais, le temps est passé tellement vite. Time for school again. Ah... Quoi Ça skip déjà à l'école Ok, bon là je pense qu'on peut skip, il doit plus avoir de nouveaux trucs. Ouais. Ah ouais, le coup dans la rue. On rentre à la maison. On retourne au café. Oh, nouveau truc. Excuse me miss, I like to make my order. A Mayan stop me there. Inch away from pulling open the scarlet door. Looking at... To my right, I look at for the owner of that familiar voice. Moody <laughs> Bugsy. A man with a, with dark hair and glasses wearing his beige overcoat. Beige? C'est blanc pour moi, mais. C'est blanc cassé, enfin, je sais pas. Sat on a round table outside the window at, of a café rouge. Mr. Davinson? Hello, may I take my order? He's here. I can't believe he's here. What are you doing here? He let out a laugh. 
You tell me, I could be here as a customer, I could be here to visit my aunt, or I could be here to... Ah, to meet us, maybe. You pulled me over to his table to visit you. Ah! <laughs> I flushed and looked away. He was still smiling at me. So, may I have a drink? Do you have a... Uh, Orange juice, water. Oh, important. Uh, even more. Uh, bah, orange. Why not? Why do I have water? I know that my head comes daily. Uh, right away, sir. I took the freshest the pitcher of oranges from the fridge and poured it in a tall glass. What's it? <laughs> Dommage qu'il n'a pas fait plus de musique dans le jeu. Uh, exciting the Scarlet Door a scrambled tower Mr. Davinson. Here we go. Thank you. Uh, my eyes wandered to his face. He looked as beautiful as the first day he blew me here, but I couldn't stay for, for long. Running, I headed back to the door. Where are you going? Um, I should get back to work. Uh, you don't want to have a drink with me? <laughs> his face dropped, his disappointment seeping into his feet. Oh, he is amazing! Oh my God, what are you doing? Do you want to have a drink with me? With enough, enough courage to hide my red face, I pulled up a chair and sat down. <laughs> you really are a, a stupid teacher. You might get fi fired for this. Even though I'm technically not your student anymore. <laughs> You're a former student. Ah uh, yes. I looked down, too ner nervous and giddy to properly face him. So, how's the new school? Are the kids behaving? Oh, they're great. My first day, I was a, a pep rally. Pep rally? C'est quoi ça déjà? Rally? And they brought candy and had those cute little cards with a corny catchphrase for. Ah, you fait une genre de fête ou je sais pas quoi? We continued to converse and we both laughed, taking, talking about this day, my day, and everything. When we finally ran out of things to talk about, I smiled and asked ca casually, Can I ask, are you scared of vampires? He, he laughed, slapping his hand on the table. What do you think? I'm re related to one. Oh no? What? Oh no? I'm... Ter I don't know. <laughs> His laugh was so weird, I couldn't help but laugh with him. Hello, Demoni, comment vas-tu? Attends, mon dieu, faut que je bois un coup. De retour chez Mamie Lol. <rire> Quoi? Uh, but in all seriousness, I don't have anything negative sentiments with Vampire. Ah voilà, j'allais dire. <rire> Ça s'est bien passé. <rire> in the end, we're all human. With just a slight difference in our bi biological systems. Ouais. Biological systems? Yes, um, his voice faded away as... If he, as if he just regained it. Consciousness with those iron name. Ah uh, oui. Pour la petite famille pour lui dire joyeux anniversaire. Ah, trop mignon. 
Oh, ça veut dire s'amuser. Ça mange un bon gâteau et tout, du coup. Uh, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but you promised to keep a secret. I nodded. I've actually been doing research on vampire genetics. It's a far-fetched idea, but maybe it'd be possible to provide a cure someday. To vampires? Shh. It looked around cautiously. Uh, we were alone on the cafe corner, and once he made sure of that, Mr. Davidson continued in a whisper. Ouais, un bon gros pan étonné. Ah ouais, les gâteaux italiens, les origines italiennes, tout ça, c'est ça. <laughs> mm. You see, vampires need to live by drink drinking blood. When a vampire goes hungry and is in need of digesting some blood, Their blood glucose drop to a dangerous level. Their endocrine system send a message to the brain to find blood at no matter what cost. Ah, c'est comme ça que ils peuvent devenir dangereux s'ils si se nourrissent pas à temps. Uh, they go insane due to hypoglycemia, just a tab with red and They lose their mind in the moment. Oh là là, mon... Ah nous on n'est pas pareil quand on fait de l'hypoglycémie. Hein. <rire> mon dieu. Mm. So, au raisin normalement, mais comme moi et mes neveux, on n'aime pas trop, on prend ce lié au sucre glace. Hein sucre glace. Pas genre à l'orange ou un truc comme ça, celui-là. En tant que je n'ai pas mangé. Uh, was it just me, or did that sound very familiar? And vampires can't live without drinking blood, right? Yep, exactly. A vampire can't live without blood. Like, oh, we can't live uh, without food or water. I didn't bother adding any more questions. Uh, Mr. Davidson must have sensed my aversion to continue and... Et je répète le subject. Comme toutes les grands-mères, on a été, on a été gavés de biscuits. Du coup, je suis bien calée <rire> jusqu'à ce soir. <rire> ah bah c'est ça les mamies. Hein. Faut pas que tu meurs de faim. Hein. <rire> All was silent and soon the conversation died as quickly as it started. I played with a napkin sitting on the edge of a round table. Oh mon dieu. Quand t'as fait rien à dire, il y a un gros blanc comme ça, c'est horrible. Uh, oh putain. <rire> J'ai envie de me taper le crâne. C'est quoi ces mots cauchemardesques là qui me donnent à lire <rire> Comment tu lis ça Absent. Absent mindedly. <rire> I brought up a topic that was on the back of my mind a long while. Say, so I wonder what it's like to be a vampire. <laughs> C'est horrible! Ça, <laughs> comme quoi, les Anglais, ils ont aussi leurs mots chiants. Um, wouldn't it be awesome to live a thousand years rather than live barely a century long? Maybe I could find the vampire who could change me. Then that'd be cool. Oh, mes meufs, ne parle pas de trucs comme ça. Oh, j'ai envie de la frapper. À chaque fois, elle sort de ces trucs, elle ne se rend pas compte Absent de ce qu'elle dit. Absent-mindedly. <rire> oh non. Absent-mindedly. Ok, j'avais pas trop mal dit alors. Euh... Tiens, je le savais, tu l'as bien mérité, meuf. <rire> A sharp sting repeat across my face. Putain, mais surtout que elle, c'est une victime, et toi, tu dis, ah, oh, vas-y, moi aussi, je pourrais. Là, tu dis pas ça en face d'une victime de ça, enfin. Enfin, t'en parles même pas, c'est pas tabou pour rien comme sujet. The shock of a slap left my cheek a ball red. And it took me a, a quite a few moments for me to recover from the, my shock. Mon dieu. Don't you dare to say that again. 
And can you be quiet, Ronnie? <laughs> and you get back to work. Stop throwing yourself at my nephew. The <laughs> little blonde marched back inside, slamming the scarlet door behind her. Her words were like poisons. I immediately got up, backing away from him. Humiliation flooded in me. Just imagining how pathetic that I look. Sorry, I'll just go now. No, please. He got up, snatching my hand. His touch only painted me further. How naive of me to even believe Mr. Davidson would ever like me like that in any way. A teacher with his students, so stupid. Sorry, shaking off his grip, I ran back inside, closing the scarlet door behind me. Oh, you do no wrong, Stuffy. The kitchen was empty except for Aldo and I. And the hundred of unclean dishes and pans stacked up in a heavy pile of the far corner. Ok, on revient à ce moment-là. Euh, hmm, je sais pas si c'est un chou. Quoi des deux? Ah, il est Aldo. On skip. Et ça aussi, je pense pas que ça change grand-chose. Ok, on est de Diane. Elle nous demande de trouver des trucs. Malheureusement pour moi, je veux pas faire ça. Mais on va aller voir Chris. Ah non, je peux pas. Was Chris really not there? Peut-être parce que je l'ai jamais fait ce choix. I waited another 5 to 10 minutes. I guess I'll have to go back empty and dead then. Ah ah, comme par hasard Où est-ce qu'il est parti, celui-là hein Sorry, Diane, I couldn't get anything. Ah ouais, ça veut dire que... Y a aucun moyen d'avoir de, des bouchons. Ok. Oh, I guess the customers can survive with... uneven tables. It's fine, dear. Allez, on, on skip. Ça y est, il est là. Non, I couldn't... I waited for a long while and it didn't come. Oh, really strange, I didn't see you uh, even I came. Ouais, menteur, fais pas genre, on sait très bien que t'étais dans la cuisine à euh, trafiquer. Chris blinked. Of course, I was. Of course, I was. My guess, I might have been at the bathroom that time, so you might have missed me. Oh, uh, I see. Uh -huh. Facile de dire j'étais aux toilettes, hein. Personne pour se prouver que c'était vrai. <rire> ok, allez. Salut. On parle avec eux et voilà, le drame arrive. On rentre à la maison, on retourne au café et là, on a la super idée de enquêter. Donc on va parler à tout le monde, un par un. Et euh, Aldo en dernier, bien sûr. Damien et Aldo. Ok, du coup... Oh, nouveau. Candice was alone with the, in the dining hall setting up the lightning. The lightning. The memory of her slap was still imprinted in my mind. Maybe I should apologize. Oui, excuse-toi, s'il te plaît. Well, are you coming over or not? I jumped. Did she see me? Just come out already. Don't just hide in the dark. Uh, anxiously, I step into her line of sight. En même temps, ils ont des sens un peu plus développés. C'est capté plus longtemps. <laughs> What should I help you with? All the tablecloth there. It felt so uncord. There wasn't any opening I could make to start my ap apology. Do you like my nephew? Ah <laughs> oh, non, mais ça, ça y est, elle demande. What? Do you like Ronnie uh, romantically? What sure was unexpected? My mouth gave open speechless. <laughs> um, is, is my teacher... I don't know. <laughs> I see. 
What the heck did that mean? Looking at her face, Candice didn't give away anything. Did she not like me? Did she not want me to... Hey, you two! Oh, lui. We turned our head. Damien was walking toward us. Can either of you give me a hand on the stage? Ah, oh, putain. Ça, je pense c'est un choix important. Pu. Pas un choix, un choix comme ça. Je vais pas sauvegarder un moment. Oh, je sais pas si c'est important. On va dire non. Validé. Ok. Ok. I couldn't help but listen in. It's horrible what happened. Oh, donc j'ai fait le bon choix pour écouter leur conversation. Si j'avais dit oui, j'aurais peut-être pas entendu. Ils auraient jamais parlé de ça avec moi. Yes. It's just like the massacre of a great depression all over again. Oh, come on. It's not completely like that. But it is. What if a blue blood started all over again? Another mass conversa conversion? It won't happen. The Michaels have been laying low for years. Huh? Oh, you are you eavesdropping on us? They both turned my way. Oh, sorry. I turned my back to them walking off. Well, time to go on. Allez, on rentre à la maison. Oh, mom and dad sat on the living room couch. Their faces stoic and cold. You will no longer be living here. On l'avait pas déjà vu la dernière fois, ça. What? What do you mean? We don't know what changed ever since our, our, our accident, but we know you are not who you say you are. We're sending you back to that woman. What are we talking about? I didn't un understand. It's not worth the money anymore, and my wife and I want our life back. An Oriole Dover back. C'est trop dur comme moi là. What are you talking about? Uh, you know you're not a... Our daughter is normal, you're not. That's why we're sending you back. You're not us. And frankly, we had enough of playing your parents now. Mom, Dad, you can be serious, are you? What are you talking about? What do you mean I'm not like you? What am I? Mom and dad is exchange glances. I think dad responded. We don't know. Silence filled the gravity of the room of the situation. Were they really doing this to me? I couldn't understand. And you couldn't find it in your heart to love me as your own child and despite being different. The guilt was pa painted clearly on their face, but it was overshadowed by something, by fear. They weren't sorry for me, they were sorry for themselves. Not bothering to stay any longer, I ran out of the house. Okay. Oh, jour. Je me rappelais pas que notre taron il voulait nous rattraper. We're not finished yet. Saleté de parents là. I run down the streets not looking back. Why was this happening to me? Why? I was a good girl. I got good grades. I behaved. I didn't do drugs. I didn't get myself pregnant. Why? Why in the world so unfair? Why couldn't anybody love me? Slumping 
against the street wall I cried. What's wrong? I looked up my heart, stopped seeing who it was. Mr. Davidson? You look terrible. I know. He sat down next to me, rubbing my arm to comfort me. What's wrong? Is everything alright? No, my parents, they... Did you have a fight? Did they scold you? Inter he chunked, smiling softly to comfort me. I wiped my tear away, calming down, without disowning me. Mr. Davinson face changed dramatically. He grabbed my shoulder suddenly. It just fell away in outrage. Why? I don't know, they said because I wasn't their, their daughter, and, but they said I was different. I sniffed, coming down. Mr. Davinson continued to hold onto me, his face in rage. Take me to your house. What? Just take me. <gasps> oh, mon dieu, il va l'embrouiller nos parents. He dragged me up in front of me. The front steps of my house, ringing the doorbell. He then clutched mine tightly, anxious. The door opened and the and there stood my parents. I only have one thing to say. I despite people like you. Oh, you don't know anything about this sweet girl. You don't know anything about her heart, her dreams, and everything that she has done for you. How can you not say that she loves you because she is your child? And to abandon her just because she seems different to you? Well, reality is... You don't deserve to be our parents. You're the ones who aren't normal. You're the ones in inhuman. You're the monsters. Mom and dad stood in the doorway, speechless and outraged. <laughs> Mr. Davinson yanked me away, dragging me off. He continued to drag me, not listening. Please! He still didn't budge. Run! He finally stopped, looking back towards me, Ron paused, hesitant. Sorry, I was so rushed, I never done that before. Uh, Ron's grip was tight on my arm, not letting go. Why did you... Why did you do that? Why? He pulled me towards him by the waist. Ah! <laughs> I resisted, pushing him away. Oh, this is wrong. You're my... Stop, please. With his hand, he kept my chin, turning my face so I looked at him. I'm not your teacher. I am a man and you're a woman. <laughs> Après, c'est vrai qu'ils sont... Oh, ils plus dans la même école maintenant. And right now, I'm a man in love with me. And do you know who that woman is? I start speechless. It's you. I love you. <laughs> but you're so much older. None of that matters. Et je crois qu'elle est bien plus vieille. <laughs> the only thing that matters right now is if you love me the same. Ron dragged me closer. My chest was pounding so loudly. Could he hear my heartbeat? <gasps> Are you serious? This isn't some cruel joke. You're not playing on me. I promise. So give me an answer. Is Anne Rebet circle along with my cheeks? I love you. Ah! <laughs> They're my name. Oh my god, it's so cringe. I want I'm in love with you. Oh mon dieu, eh, en vrai c'est la première fois qu'on a une scène comme ça, j'avais jamais eu ça avant, je le dis pas ça moi. <rire> I was going to faint. Finally we se separated and he let me go. Is there a place... <rire> ça j'en sais rien, Ils ont... enfin j'ai pas lu alors je sais pas. Can I take you to stay? <laughs> This question brought me back to reality. 
Uh, yes, there was one place, but would I be welcome into vampire arms? I could stay with a friend, Valen. <laughs> but I'll take you. And in end, we walk it down into the cold street of the night. But yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> What? En vrai, c'est une. Enfin, c'est pas encore la fin, mais pour l'instant, ça se passe mieux que dans les deux autres. Whatever would happen now, there was one thing certain. I was not alone anymore. Ron would be with me. Uh, welcome to Café Rouge. How may I help you? It was another usual day at the cafe. A week had passed since that horrible accident in the kitchen. Ouais, je pense que je peux skip là. Ouais. Ok. Euh... Eh ah, le meurtrier bâton, pas de parler. Ah oh, ouais c'est le coup, est-ce qu'il essaye de... de nous inviter à un date ou je sais pas quoi là, à minuit, c'est tellement louche. Et si quelqu'un il vous dit, euh, vous propose un date à minuit euh, dans un parc dehors, enfin c'est trop bizarre quand même. Trop red flag hein. Uh, literally, I was speechless, what could I say to him My ass darted back and forth, trying to distract myself with the jazz music echoing on stage. Really, this is also Susan E. Queen. I've been good friends, haven't we? Na 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 na, moi je suis pas ton pote déjà. Uh, I do. You're, you've been a very good friend, but my thoughts turn to Mr. Davidson. <laughs> I mean, Ronnie. Oh gosh, it's so weird calling him by his first name now. But but butterflies in my stomach beat wildly against my chest. I could feel my face glow rosy pink. But oh, I see if there's someone else, then it isn't there. Immediately, I spoke up. Well, no, yes, but let me guess, it's Candy's nephew. En plus, il sait. Il doit vraiment nous... Comment dire C'est un gros stalker, en fait, le gars. My voice got in my throat. Oh, did you Oh, please. You don't think anyone else did not see, did you bon, En vrai, peut-être qu'on était juste pas discret. Et ouais. The way you two fall down outside, flirting like lovebirds in front of a cafe. It's so obvious, kiddo. I darted my eyes away, embarrassed. Nodding my head, I spoke in a shed whispers. Run! I, um, yes. I like him a lot. He's so nice and sweet to me. <laughs> Chris laughed, roughing my hair and patting my shoulder. How sweet you are, blushing like a plump red tomato. You really are too adorable. <laughs> My eyes look down too muddled to say anything else coherently. Uh, noticing this, Chris let go of my hand. Let's both get back to work, shall we? We can't stay here forever after all. Waving Chris walked off, leaving me in the dark corner. The blush still lingered on my face as I stood alone with my thoughts. Wrap around me. I wonder when I could see him again. Ever, ever since that night, I've been trying at Valence ever since. Ouais, elle est chez son pote Valen en attendant. Uh, I was hesitant at first, but strangely enough, Valen didn't have any hard feelings, despite all the things I said to him. Why can't I do it? I rang the doorbell. The door opened quickly as and I stepped inside. Hey! Laying down my bag, I took off my shoes. Paul avoided my glance and I did the same. Ah, par contre, là, je pense que ça va être le moment où est-ce que... Ah, il s'est mis pas rassurant. J'espère que je vais pas mourir encore. <laughs> J'avais vu. Uh, what could I say? Honestly, I didn't deserve to stay at this place. After the night, I found out what it he was. 
I said some very horrible things. But his mother knew me since I was a baby, so she's cr graciously let me stay at the house. So it is true that I almost jumped when you spoke. What? Are, are you and Mr. Davidson together? On lui dira la vérité, hein! Answer truthfully. I paused looking at the other direction. He turned his attention away, looking down. Silence filled the living room of his apartment home, and finally he sat down on the far side of the couch. Oh mon dieu, mais. <rire> Mec, c'est toi qui l'as quand même lâché, et puis au final, tu reviens sur ta décision, faut savoir. The silence continued to prolong and I had to break it. I'm sorry for all the things I said to you. I was just really mad in the moment, so. His eyes glanced at me, my face, and up and down, like he was hesitant over something. Forcing a smile on my face, I tried to lift up the atmosphere of the room. We'll always be best friends, right, Val? <laughs> ah, ça veut tout dire là. I don't know anymore. Ah, we wrote another word. He stood walking out of a room. Mais même si tu peux pas la paix chaud, tu peux. C'est toujours ta pote. Enfin... Oh mon dieu. The morning sunlight beat through out the glass window of Valen's living room. It was too bright. Yes, this place gave me the creeps. Better leave now and head to school as soon as possible. The weather feels so dry today, initially, so. Ouais, bon, on va essayer de petit peu. Ok. On retombe dans les pommes. On retourne au café. Oh. Yes, of course, it will be there. Ah. Ronnie. <laughs> A part of me didn't wish it, it would come every day, but. He was always such a big distraction. <laughs> Then again, the rest of me wanted to be distracted. Uh, walking straight over the door, I pretended not see, to see him. Uh, excuse me, miss. May I take my order? Of, of course, just wait right there. I'll get someone to take your order. Oh no, you don't. Il est ainsi, mec T'es sur son lieu de travail, là, va pas l'emmerder tous les jours, ouais. I quickened my pace, but it was too fast. Too fast. Ron grabbed me up by the waist, planting kisses along the back of my neck. Mais, eh hey, Il est insupportable, là. Les gens, ils sont toujours comme ça quand ils commencent une relation. God, I love giggling a control body. Euh... Ah, je sais pas quoi dire, moi. Oh, ouais, par contre, je veux vraiment. Plus on se rapproche de la fin, plus il faut que je fasse attention de me safe. Parce que si j'ai fait une, une erreur, il bah, va falloir que je retourne en arrière pour pas crever. Play along with it. What will they do? Ah. Let's say it was your fault. He turned me around. Smiling, I leaned my face toward upward dog. Ah ah oh non, j'en veux plus. Et voilà, ça a là. We didn't even notice when the door open. On va se faire démonter. Candice, voilà. Ah la, la tante qui tombe sur euh, son neveu, voilà. Immediately, he let go and I did the same. We were... Avoid saying a word, Candice walked back inside the scarlet door, closed with a soft thud. Ron and I looked at each other, bewildered. Alors, en même temps, elle aurait dû la prévenir. Et non, on lui a pas répondu, franchement. Of all the people who had to catch us, it was. It just had to be Candice. A million thoughts ran through my mind. What if she hates me? What if she doesn't like me being with her nephew? My gut's turned just thinking about it. 
client told never I'd you okay. Johnny pulled me into another embrace, but it was only a brief comfort. After a few seconds, I pushed him away. I should be getting to work. Enfin! <rire> oh mon dieu, ça me fait Bon, allez, qu'est-ce qui va se passer des choses? I couldn't let my emotion control over what I, I have to do my job. Exact. Not only my job, but another thing. There was investigation still needed to be done. Oh non, elle veut toujours faire ça. Bon, oh, after Nodaldo. Ah, je sais pas si c'est important. Euh, c'était quoi déjà pour toi On va faire le four. Oui, que c'est un rapport avec Candice. Je pense que c'est. Qu'à faire Là, il code. Je pense qu'on va trouver un euh, truc au bar de Chris. Nope, I looked over my shoulder around the... Nope, no one. Doing and cautiously, I snuck in the f from the side. The smell of alcohol was in the air, just as expected of a bar. Bending down under the bar counter, I was curious to examine what was below. <gasps> a spider! <laughs> Oh mon dieu, cauchemar. What's it? Ah! Putain, on en a pété une bouteille. Ah. Ah. Non, euh. Ah, ouais, c'est vrai qu'il faut trouver une excuse. I was barely helping as it is. I broke one of his bottles. This won't get mad at me, will he? You could help me for now, but I'll help you clean up, okay? It's well tough looking for paper to wall. While I was picking up the shard, my eyes wandered to the bottom shelf. A large bottle of glass cleaner, a cup of wood polish, and a huge bag of bleach. Hmm, and sure had a lot of stuff. Ah, il s'est déjà barré. Oh, il y a un pote cette. Ah oui, le coup du cochon. Allez, on skip. Work was almost over. I was glad I didn't run into Candice all day, I mean. What would I say to her? <laughs> Sorry, I slow hearing all of <laughs> so clearly you don't know at all well considering you have a I don't say that like that, but yeah. Because I wanted to face palm myself. Right. Can we talk? Oh, I think it's Candice. That voice belonged to none other than one person. You know. Please don't think I'm not mad. Why don't you come inside? We can chat over something. Uh, the ten dining room lights flickered. Candice went to the kitchen to make tea. Uh, while sitting, I stared up at the ceiling light. I'm not sad or beautiful. Again. Here we are. She came back pouring a pot of tea.
question. And this gave me one of the teacups and I out to Je n'ai pas trop envie. Je sais pas trop. Oh Oh mon dieu ah ah Article powder Hello Hello Raiders ah On va sur day <rire> Oh my god I think it's the first time you read me now. What did you do Did you play Genshin? <laughs> uh, let me do a so for you. Uh, so... I'm only like 5k away. Oh my god, it's been a while since I went on one streams. Yeah, Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> What did you do on Genshin? <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Zephy! Okay, it's good. It's good. No <laughs> And collab stream with Zephy. Oh, oh, nice. No, yeah. I, I the you do Among Us. <laughs> Did you win? Oh my god, I hate playing Among Us. I'm so bad at this game. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, if you're new here, I'm uh, Mina Cass. You can me uh, Mina for short. Uh, I'm a pixie cat VTuber and I mostly play uh, uh, a lot of game Genshin, um, chill games. I like horror games too. And right now we're playing Café Rouge uh, Visual Novel. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to f to get a good ending because the two times I tried, I died. I, I died so. <laughs> Let's hope I don't die today. Oh my god. Hello! I'm gonna sleep now. Ah! Oh, okay, have a good rest. Good night. Oh, yeah, see me. And thank you for the red again. Oh my god. Here comes Aranaras. <laughs> Spend reading some love. Oh my god. I love your red message. It's so cute. Oh, have you? Did you draw this uh, emote? Oh, it's la fiesta, ouais. <laughs> is your cat talking or the other person is talking? Ah, she, she's just uh, moving as uh, the same time as me. <laughs> Don't mind uh, my cat. <laughs> okay, thank you. I took a sip. But it's too red. <laughs> hello, everyone. Oh my god, hello. <laughs> ah, don't worry, you're not late. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, I don't know if it's late for you, but if you need to, uh, to rest, uh, feel free to do so. Uh, if you need a snack, go get some snacks, take uh, something to drink. <laughs> Hi, Lucifer! <laughs> How was your day? I'm doing good. <laughs> Why are you confused? <laughs> it's because it's a, uh, my cat is a model too, and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's just copying me. Tu vas rire, mais les biscuits de mamie font plus. font plus effet, je sais pas. Déjà T'en as mangé combien de biscuits <rire> Oh mon dieu. Uh, we avoided eye contact. Oh uh, wow, it was so awkward. Uh, so, um, the blonde tapped her finger on the tablecloth. Much like the last time when we sat, she sat me down with Ronnie. Beaucoup trop pour les compter. <rire> Uh, but now it was just us and the subject is run. Oh yeah, uh, I almost forgot. Um, I'm running a art giveaway and it's almost done. I think there is 15 minutes left. So 
You can win um, one of my drawings. Uh, the link is in the pin uh, message if you want to participate. The love forever. <laughs> Mon Dieu. Uh, but now it was just us and the subject is wrong. You two are. Um, we're together, yes. Ah, ça y est, elle me dit. And I'm guessing you two have been dating for a month. Now, or I flushed red looking down. Talking about him felt really private, but she was his family. Uh, tell her honestly, say no, 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 no. Tell her honestly. Uh, Mr. I mean, Juan and I, yes, we are together. It hasn't been long, barely a week. That's why he didn't, he didn't tell you. But I mean, we, we love each other very much. And if you don't think I'm, f I'm fit for your nephew, then... She <laughs> don't spit your tea! <laughs> Checking us, she spat out the her tea in surprise. Oh god, she hates me. She absolutely hates me. <laughs> oh no, 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 I... She grabbed my hand, squeezing it tightly. Really, I am so relieved Ronnie fell in love with a normal girl like you. I wouldn't know what to do if if he, her eyes started to water. Ah, oh, no, don't cry. <laughs> no. At first, I thought she was just having allergies, but then she started sobbing. Candice? Sorry, I'm just so emotional right now. Tear poured out of her house uncontrollably. As much as I wanted to tell everything was okay, I seriously had no idea why she was so upset. I'm not sure what to do. I got up and I got up out of my seat and walked over to pat her shoulder. Are you okay? Uh, sniffling, Candice suddenly turned, turned toward me. Oh no! <laughs> don't try, don't cry, Candice! She buried her face into my uniform, crying horrendously. <laughs> oh my god, sorry if I pronounce some words really badly. I'm still uh, learning English, so... <laughs> Uh, it was hard not to get emotional from watching her. I'm so thankful this day has come. It's finally grown and I was so fearful that he would fall in love with a vampire. I'm so glad. Why were you worried about Juan falling in love with a vampire? Because I hate them. She clutched my dress closer and tear staining my uniform. Ah ouais, en même temps, elle a de quoi les détester euh, qu'elle s'est fait transformer elle-même. Not what I minded at the moment, but she, she was obviously in an emotional state right now. But you're a vampire. I know, so please don't, don't remind me. <laughs> I continued to stroke her blonde curls, calming her down. She looked so much like a child. Ah, quel âge elle a, mais elle a dû être transformée jeune en vrai. It was hard to imagine her as a blonde bitch I used to think she was. <laughs> A long time ago, I was human. Oh, story time. Ooh. It was the roaring twenties. Life was perfect. Oh, elles sont trop belles les illustrations. I had my ma and pops and my little siblings, a younger brother and two little sisters. And I was the, the oldest. Oh mon dieu, elles sont trop chou. Uh, technology was flying 
um, aviation automobiles you name it not to mention i had a huge crush of on child lindbergh as a teenage girl uh, america was so perfect in my eyes despite what was to come the great depression only now did i realize how lucky i was and that my pops spoiled us c'est vrai qu'ils ont l'air d'une bonne famille but one day everything changed it was a rather chilly night and for some stupid reason i thought going to the general store at night would be safe for a young flavor i mean just around the neighborhood block right hello of course i knew something was off and just when i turned in around the street corner <gasps> oh my god <laughs> at first i thought i was kidnapped they blinded me and something sharp pierced me from behind worse there was a searing pain spreading from my wound throughout the rest of my body oh c'est vrai que ça avait dit que c'est ceux qui peuvent transformer, ils provoquent une douleur horrible. My pain continued to torture me and I thought I ended up in hell and I knew I was going to die. I was so sure of it. When I woke up the next morning in the streets, I was so confused. Was it all just a nightmare? The searing pain was completely gone now and the light came bright as day. So I went home and... That was my big mistake. The burning su sensation in my throat felt strange, but I threw, I threw I was just thirsty, so I drank water and uh, it didn't help. Mine pops just gave me some cold medicine, but after a few days it got even worse. My little brother came in my room to check on me. He looked so good. The pulse of his vein looked, looked so alive and healthy. And then he stepped closer to reach out to me. I grabbed his, his arms. I yanked him toward me and... Uh, oh mon dieu. I était pas au courant de ce qui lui arrivait du coup. Uh, elle a dû massacrer sa famille uh, sans le vouloir. Ils sont incontrôlables dans ces cas-là. I was holding him. His body still drinking the life out of my brother's dead carcass. <laughs> Blood was everywhere, but I didn't care. I was sated. Mais t'as quoi avec les jeux cute, mes gars? Ça se voit que tu connais pas encore l'univers des visual novels, toi. <laughs> Mais parce que, enfin, c'est vrai que de base, c'est un peu un dating game. Le, les dating games de base sont censés être, enfin, comment dire, plus joyeux, hein. Mais <rire> dans ce genre de vidéo, c'est le novel, tu peux avoir des mauvaises fins et tout. Enfin, ils parlent de tout et de rien, enfin. Ouais. Uh, my eyes, blood red, blood smear down my face while my teeth blood in... Ah, oh, je veux plus lire ça, c'est horrible It was... Horrifying. <laughs> it threw me out of the house and threatened to call the police. My pops said I sold my soul to the devil and I wasn't their da daughter anymore. Pop 7 drew out a, a raffle to shoot me just in case. <gasps> so I ran away, never daring to come back. My family was scared of me. I was a monster in their eyes. I run, I run. One day I finally end up in this corner cafe. I, kno I knocked on the scarlet door frantically. I was starving, I was thirsty and I was going to kill the first person I saw because I was so hungry. It brought me inside and fed me. Then out of my own stupidity i attacked him i didn't care if i killed him i wanted to eat him and to my surprise he didn't panic at all it was like he expect 
He expected this. Euh, bon après, euh, comment dire, hein. pas, pas, c'est pas toujours tout rose hein, dans les histoires. Il y a toujours quand même des hauts et des bas. Donc je trouve ça normal qu'il arrive des choses. Hein. <rire> de même... <rire> Un gris little thing, Ario. Il y a pas des short color rebelling skin. Oh mon dieu. <rire> Damien wasn't stupid. He knocked me out in a single blow on red and I fainted. She is finally your awake. He held out a glass of red juice, no red savory blood. Drink to your heart's content, kid. I finally was sated again, calming down. Damien eyed, eyed me cautiously. To make sure I wasn't going to attack him. Then he explained me everything. I didn't believe him at first. I mean, vampires. Vampires don't exist. They're just myths or and legend, so I tried to live. He wouldn't let me, and he said I couldn't go back to my family anymore. Yes, I was. I was sad and no, miserable. I couldn't believe it anymore, but I knew the truth. I became a monster, a vampire girl. A vampire. I killed my own brother and now my family hated me. Damien was too generous and he offered me a job, probably out of pity. Oh mon dieu! Hello! Welcome <rire> Ça va bien et toi Comment s'est passé le reste de ton stream <rire> Oh mon dieu Ça a été sur euh, Conan Exile <rire> oh. Mon dieu, laisse moi te faire un petit saut. Oh. Voilà et du coup, Zufli, il est constant, quoi. Mon dieu. C'est pas Banshee, c'est pas Banshee, 100% c'est pas Banshee. Ah, c'est merde, j'ai oublié le jeu. Où est-ce que tu enquêtes sur des phénomènes paranormaux et tout là Mon dieu, c'est crépit. Jamais essayé ce jeu là. Mais il court Il court ultra lentement par contre. Tu t'es trop focus dessus avant. Ah, c'est bien d'être focus après. On voit sur mon stream, il faut le clip ça aussi. Faut pas être trop distrait non plus. Oh mon dieu. En plus, tu arrives pile en bon moment parce que dans deux minutes, on va aller regarder un peu les résultats du giveaway. Ah, phase mobile, ouais, c'est ça le nom. Putain, j'avais oublié le nom du jeu. Ah oh mon dieu. Sinon, aujourd'hui, je suis en train de jouer à Café Rouge. Euh, si vous connaissez pas, c'est un, un vieux visual novel euh, fait par euh, une indé. Et qui a, qui a eu un remake récemment et elle a eu la chance euh, euh, d'avoir l'aide d'une grande mangaka qui, euh, qui a refait tous les dessins du jeu. Et c'est la... celle qui a dessiné... Euh, comment ça s'appelle euh... Ah j'ai un trou de mémoire, c'est horrible. À chaque fois que je parlais de ça, je sais plus. Merde, c'est un, un anime de vampire en plus qui est vraiment glauque. Oh c'est brave. Ouais. Je sais pas si je suis dedans. Euh, si je crois, il me semble, je suis plus sûr. On va aller sur. Euh... Ou que non, on peut rester là au pire. Je devrais retourner sur la page du, du giveaway et vous montrer. Alors, le lien. Ok. Oh mon dieu, 25 secondes qui restent. Ok, alors je vous partage ça. Je vais remettre la musique un peu derrière, vu que Café Rouge est en pause. Voilà le bon partage. Oh, vas-y, il y a des petits confettis, on va voir. Mon dieu, il y a mon téléphone qui sonne aussi. Alors du coup, où est-ce qu'on voit pour le gagnant Winner. 
your competition has finished. Oh, we now. Bah, vas-y, let's go. <laughs> One. Uh, uh, oh. oh, je sais pas. On va le laisser. Hein. Vas-y. Ah Du coup, on a un gagnant. Jamie, mec, ok. Je sais pas si Jamie est là. Non, je vais essayer de le contacter. Euh... Ok. Bah voilà. Bah, con congratulations, Jamie. <rire> you won a drawing. Hey. On va retourner sur Café Rouge. Euh, je vais lui envoyer un message. Quoi. Enfin, je devrais faire un post au pire. Hein. <rire> ah, pas grave. <rire> tu tenteras ta chance une prochaine fois. Genre, je ferai de temps en temps euh, des petits giveaways comme ça. On a une, euh... Ouais. <rire> ok. <rire> De toute façon, je pense que je le, je le partagerai sur le, le serve et euh, de toute façon, je le mettrai toujours sur Twitter. Hein. Voilà. Et là. Par contre, si jamais... Euh, j'ai pas de réponse avant vraiment longtemps je pense que je referai un tirage euh... bah, bah tant mieux si il me répond Non, plus... en... en français, on dit DM Enfin, en anglais, on dit... ne on dit pas DM, non Je plus. Ouais, ça va. Je stresse un peu parce que je sais pas euh, si je vais tomber sur une bonne fin ou pas aujourd'hui. On verra bien. Euh, J'étais focus. Donc, même si personne parlait sur le monde, ça ne nous intéressait pas énormément. Oh, bon, c'est pas grave. Après, il y a des gens euh, peut-être peut fatigués ou des trucs comme ça. J'ai essayé au début, sauf que personne... Oh, mais... Faut pas, faut pas penser à ça, t'inquiète. La meilleure fin tu vas trouver, bah j'espère, hein. <rire> Là, ça a l'air de tourner bien pour l'instant. Euh, mais euh, j'ai peur, c'est... Euh, parce que... Enfin, je sais pas si tu, tu connais pas le contexte de l'histoire, mais en gros, euh, le personnage principal... Enfin, euh, elle s'appelle Isis Black de base. Et... Euh... Comment dire euh... elle, va... elle cherche un job à mi-temps et tout. Elle va commencer à travailler dans un café qui s'appelle Café Rouge, enfin le nom du jeu. Sauf qu'elle va découvrir que c'est un café de vampires. Et euh... bon, elle va se faire menacer de comment dire de pas dire enfin euh... de rien dire sur leurs secrets et tout. Et en la forçant un petit peu au passage à, à continuer à travailler dans le café, tu vois, pour qu'il puisse la surveiller. Et euh, bon, il va se passer plein de choses et tout. Bon, c'est un petit peu un dating game au passage. Du coup, euh, tu, tu tournes un peu le jeu dans le sens que tu veux. Tu choisis un peu la personne que tu veux date et tu essaies de faire les bons choix pour y arriver. Et euh, tu apprends plein de choses par-ci, par-là. Il y a, y a un meurtre qui va arriver dans ton lieu de travail. Et euh, sur la fin du jeu, tu dois faire en sorte de ne pas mourir parce que le tueur, il veut s'en prendre à toi après. Et puis, euh, on sait toujours pas pourquoi en plus, mais ouais. <rire> aïe, aïe, aïe.
pas si je peux l'enregistrer, oui. Désolée si je prends un peu de temps, j'essaie de faire ça bien. Ouais, faut que je... Ouais, j'aime bien, enfin... Moi, ça fait longtemps que je connais ce jeu, donc euh, j'avais déjà fait et tout, et... Il euh... n'est pas facile, en vrai, c'est dur de d'obtenir les bonnes fins et tout, mais bon, l'histoire en soi elle est, elle est ok, enfin j'aime bien les persos, ils ont des super designs et tout. Bon, c'est un jeu de petit budget, il n'y a, a pas de doublage, c'est pas grave, mais c'est pas un problème en soi. Après il n'y a pas beaucoup de gens anglophones qui ont des doublages, c'est aussi ça. Il y en a un autre que j'aimerais bien faire en stream qui... Euh... Peut-être un, un peu plus gore sur les bords, c'est, euh, je sais pas si vous connaissez, euh, Corpse Factory. Et euh, non, confondez pas avec Corpse Party, c'est autre chose ça, encore. <rire> Et euh, franchement, waouh, il, il m'a retourné le cerveau, franchement, l'histoire et tout. Et en plus, un des rares jeux que je connais anglophone qui a un doublage anglais, alors que c'est un truc indé et tout. Ouais, bah c'est pour ça, à chaque fois que je parle de Corpse Factory, les gens ils pensent à Corpse Party. C'est aussi un, jeu, un visual novel à la base, euh, Corpse Party. Moi j'ai vu que l'anime, j'ai pas joué au jeu, mais ouais, c'était terrifiant celui-là. <rire> ouais, je sais pas si je ferai un jour. Hein. Mais euh, ouais, Corpse Factory, j'aimerais bien un jour, mais oh, juste, euh, soyez prévenus, enfin... Plutôt, enfin un peu graphique, peut-être pas forcément en image, mais il décrit vraiment bien et tout ce qui se passe. Et c'est. Ah, c'est horrible! <rire> Mon dieu. Enfin, je... C'est un jeu un peu genre horreur psychologique et tout. Voilà, c'est bon. On va voir. Euh... Mais, rouge. Alors, euh, je crois que j'ai oublié de dire celle d'avant. Uh, so I said yes because that was my only choice. My life ch changed forever because one of, of one unlucky encounter, but I wasn't the only one. I was the only employer, employer at the time, and Damien was my, my boss. Ah, oh, ok, c'était euh, pas Antoine le boss depuis le début. Okay. Antoine, pour info, c'est le, bah, le boss actuel du coup du café, qui est aussi le, le blanc qui est sur la, la couverture de de la jaquette de café rouge. He told me uh, the real owner away. Ah non, non il était déjà approprié aussi. C'est vrai que euh, Damien, euh, il s'occupe du café quand bah, il n'est pas là. quoi. C'est un peu sans remplaçant. Ok. Merci d'être passé et merci pour ton raid encore. Ok, bonne soirée à toi Merci, j'espère que je vais pas encore mourir. <rire> oh. uh, he told me we will honor the way to the great war in the army. Oh, il t'a l'armée And he was left behind to tend to the cafe. Ouais, t'inquiète pas. <rire> Attention, je, pas... je vais essayer de faire... Je pense que je vais faire la... la finir euh, cette route-là, puis... Euh... Après, j'arrêterai. Enfin, je t'avoue que je suis un peu crevée, là. <rire> beaucoup de raids. Ouais, beaucoup de raids ce soir. <rire> One day, fate decided to intervene. And I saw my sister walking past the front window at of the cafe. Oh mon dieu, ça doit être horrible. Except she was a little anymore. She was all grown up and she had a husband with her and a little girl. She, we saw each other and then she did the most miraculous thing. She hugged me. Oh, c'est trop mignon. Oh, putain, elle a pas vu sa famille depuis des années puis sa sœur de quoi se pointe et elle vient lui faire un câlin. Je pense qu'elle a dû se renseigner puis elle a compris ce qui s'est passé que c'était pas sa faute quoi. Ses parents ils ont été quand même cruels. Enfin, sur le coup c'est vrai que ça doit être traumatisant mais. Oh yeah, c'était quand même leur fille. She wasn't scared of me at all. Her eyes couldn't lie. But she must have been shocked to see me still young, barely grown. Ah, merci pour l'arc. 
Time flew by, I found out Ma and Pops passed on, and uh, other sibling died of influ influenza. Oh mon dieu, je sais pas c'est quoi comme maladie, mais. Uh, my sisters looked out, and she had a wonderful family, a loving husband, and a beautiful baby girl. Oh, heureusement qu'elle a survécu à cette épidémie. Et qu'elle était un peu plus ouverte d'esprit que ses parents. Uh, they visited the cafe often to see me, which now I realize they shouldn't have. <gasps> more, oh non, me dis pas qu'il arrivait un truc à sa soeur. More and more vampires turned up at the cafe. Not vampires like Damien, but vampires like me. Vampires and human. I warned her to not visit this place, but she didn't listen to me. She told me I was family, and no matter what I was, I was still her big sister when it happened. One chilly night, they were walking home from the cafe. I followed behind them to make sure they, they were safely walking home. <gasps> But a gang of angry vampires found them. Oh mon dieu, putain. Bon, je sais que c'est pas une super personne, mais j'ai juste envie de commenter sa façon. Enfin, son... L'uniforme qu'elle avait à l'époque était stylé. Uh, they killed my sister and her husband, eating them in front of my eyes. My niece was small and quick, and she ran away from those monsters before they could kill her too. <gasps> oh no! I approached those murderous elites. Then they realized I was one of them. They stopped and smiled, inviting me. Oh, fist on my dead sister and her husband. Oh putain, moi je les aurais... J'aurais écrasé leur tête au sol, sale monstre. You could tell they were enjoying this. They weren't in morning. Attends, faudrait que j'enlève la musique. Tu dis là, c'est bien. Oh, the people they killed, they were happy to be murdered. Then they told me about the cause. The sky that... And generous vampire called the Blue Blood were plotting to turn the entire human race into vampire. Et... Surtout que si transformer tout le monde, ils auraient pu en manger. I was. It was a revolution, they said. A new supreme race of humankind, they said. Je sais pas se nourrir entre eux. Then they fled before. Or I could get my revenge of them. Oh putain, elle a pas eu le temps de se manger. I found my niece crouching in a hidden alley two blocks away from where I was. Oh, I pitied her. Now she was just like me. Her life was changed forever by vampire, and she had no family now. Damien found us both and brought us back to the cafe. He explained everything to me. These blue bloods came recently in political power, using their money like any of the dirty politician. Worse, they were left-wing radical. Oh. Their goal was to convert our innocent civilian into vampire, all for the good of their so-called cause. But it wasn't a cause at all. The more vampires they cre created, the more dead bodies build up. I was one of the first victims, one of the many. I didn't want this life. And my niece didn't want her parents to have died in the ma massacre. But what could I do? We were just civilians trying to live a normal life in a corrupted civilization. Soon the blue blood's power ran dry. The mass conversion and the ma massacre ended. Another party came into power, also vampire, and they made life better. They executed those blue blood vampires with spe special venom and provided care for victims like my niece and I. Ah, heureusement. We couldn't, f we could finally breathe a sight of relief. The hard part was over. She and I lived a happy life together. I raised her and watched her grow into a beautiful young lady. A perf perfectly normal human woman, which I will never be. But I didn't envy her. I was happy for her.
she was the fruit of my sister's love and the only thing I could have done was raise her daughters after she was gone. It was the human thing to do. When she finally grew up, she met a fine young man in college, Tom Davidson. Le père de Ron, sûrement. Since neither of us had last name, due to some mishaps, mishaps of our identities lost in the Blue Bloods massacre, when she married and she and her husband included me in the family, naming me Candice Davidson. Oh, c'est trop gentil. Now he knew I was a vampire, and he accepted me as a whole earthly. As it as did my niece. I really thought it was all over. This was the happily ever after for us all. I will watch over my sister family. Uh, over my sister's family generation after generation until I die. And my niece will live a happy normal human life with her husband and children. We will all be one big happy family. I wasn't careful one day when I visited their house. It was summer, you see. Every day was hot and dry, but I didn't know if it was just me feeling that was that day or something else. I was so thirsty. Oh, non, me dis pas qu'elle a recommencé. When she came in into the room, my niece, she was slicing watermelon for her kids and I was one small cut on one cut on her finger <gasps> I did the unthinkable oh no <laughs> oh. oh mon dieu oh mon dieu elle les a tués ah c'est horrible quand même c'est une malédiction her kids screamed and they were right to run I only wish Now they had run faster, but lost in my blood lust craze, I snapped their oh no, <laughs> their necks, and I fisted them put their euphobia. It was horrible, a family worst nightmare. Then, when my sanity finally returned, I looked around, realizing what I've done, what I am. I was a monster, a vampire. In my panic, I ran out of a house. I didn't know what to do, where to go. I was a killer. I deserved to die. I really did. But just when I was about to leave the house forever, I heard a cry upstairs. Someone was still alive. Anxious, I went back inside. But I found little Ronnie, barely a toddler at the time, crying in horror at the sight of his family dead. Oh, oh. I knew I shouldn't have, but I wrote him in my arms and cried with him. I was thankful, so thankful to God that day for sparing my niece, youngest child. I had no right to touch him, I know, but I felt so alone and scared and the little boy I held in my arms was on, on my only comfort now. In the midst of the chaos, I called for Damien. He will know what to do. Damien came over and called the police, the vampire authorities, and the case was dismissed as a random vampire killing. I was never to be convicted. Yes, I was mad. I deserved to die, and Damien knew who really killed my niece and her family. But then he told me, You don't deserve death, that's. The easy way out. If you want to repent for what you did, do everything in your power to make her alive as she should have lived. He was right. It was the only way a monster could repent for itself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, je comprends pourquoi elle est, si... elle est comme ça, la pauvre. She tired. Ah, c'est pour ça qu'elle voulait pas qu'il tombe amoureux d'un vampire pour pas qu'il arrive des trucs comme ça à nouveau. She... The tear leaked down on my cheeks, dripping onto her golden curl as she continued to sob into my lap. 
Don't you see now? This is what it means to be a monster, a murderer. Tragedy follows us wh wherever we go. We weren't put on this earth to live happy life. We were meant to cause unhappiness and misfortune to our loved one and ourselves. That's our only purpose in life and that's the fatality of all vampires. I surrendered her in my arms, almost emotional as she was. She was so petite and small, it was hard to imagine her as a bloodthirsty killer. It's okay, it's alright now. It's, it is alright and that is why she pushed me away gently, wrapping her petite finger around my face, dropping my face lightly. Now that Rani has found you, it is time for me to go. I'm glad this day has come and now I can f finally rest in knowing that it'll be safe and live a happy life. What is that come, Sarah? Time for to go, what did she mean? Oh, me dis pas que à faire une connerie. Je sais même pas si bon, ils peuvent mourir les vampires. Can this run? Wouldn't want you to leave. He loves you with his whole heart, you know. Sometimes he feels jealous because I'm afraid he's he chose his hand over me. Then it eat me. Oh no, Candice, you don't mean to. I don't deserve to live here. I don't want this life. And I'm telling you this now, so no, one day you can tell Ron. If he knew what I did to his family, he would never forgive me. But I already did. We whip all at the round. <gasps> oh, he did it! Run, you! Yeah, I heard everything. <gasps> He approached our table in a surprise. Ah! <laughs> surprise, sang the calm manner. Candice stared wide eyed with her mouth keeping open. I watched them quietly as they began to speak. I'm, I'm so sorry, Ronnie. I understand if you hate me forever. I promise to never hurt you again after. But you're hurting me right now, Auntie. Smiling, he bent down to his knee. Clutching Candy's hands. If you kill yourself, what family would I have left? I'm the only one who should be sorry. I knew long ago you were the one who killed my mother, my father and my siblings. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that at one point in life I came to hate you. Yes, I hated you but that was wrong of me. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. So don't you see? You already repented. Your, you gave me the love. Your, <laughs> the love my family would have given me if they were still alive. You are my mother, my father, my sister, and my brother. You are my family and Candy. Candy was speechless. And it was clear in both our eyes. A big burden she was f was finally being lifted from her chest. Don't, don't you hate, hate me at all? I will hate you forever only if you take your own life. The little blonde closed her eyes and sobbed. Ron reached up and wrapped his, arm, his arms around her in a hug. Il faut pas faire ça, il va être tellement en colère si tu fais ça. He pulled me into the embrace and I couldn't help but smile as it, he did. Thank you both of you. Oh, c'est trop mignon. Oh mon dieu, vas-y. Ça skip sur la maison. Ah ouais, c'est là qu'on va croire. Un... Ah, attends, bizarre. Oh. I entered with a highly suspicious feeling. Yeah. I knew I shouldn't be here, but I forgot some textbooks I needed for school after I left with one Ronnie last week. Honestly, I didn't care if my parents wanted to chase me out of the house again. 
Oh darling, your hair. Ah oh, mais pourquoi je peux pas skipper Normalement je suis... Oh, c'est bizarre. Uh, Mr. Michaels, what are you doing here Wait a minute. Why was Fallon's mom in my house You shouldn't be here, dear. Weren't you staying at the apartment Oh yes, but I wanted to get my textbook and I stopped. Everything suddenly clicked. The blue blood, candy story and the Michael's dinner party at Café Rouge. Either way, dear, it's time to I tell. I know who you are. Mr. Michael's paused mid-sentence, raising a brow. Oh? You're a blue blood. You and your infamous family orchestrate the mass conversion of a Great Depression massacre. Oh mon dieu. You're the infamous Michael's blue blood, aren't you? Oh, my, you're sharper than I thought. A pity my pathetic excuse of the son couldn't have the same hair. Too fast for me to dodge, she yanked my hair roughly. What the fuck? Mais je pensais pas que c'était une blue blood. What the fuck? Do you know what a You are, my dear. Mrs. Michael smirked, cruelly watching the fear creep into my eyes. You think you can escape from me? You disgusting little creeper. What the fuck? Pourquoi m'appelle comme ça? You owe your entire life to me. If it weren't for me, you'd be dead. Like the rest of those vampires. Mm. Those red blood killed over the get the decade. What? You will never be a real vampire. Your body has become so dependent on this unnatural drug, your body will reject all natural food source. What was she talking about? Me? A vampire? No, it wasn't true. I didn't make sense to me. Girl, <laughs> c'était une genre de substitution au sang ou un truc comme ça. C'est pour ça que nos parents ils avaient peur de nous depuis le début. Hein. What? What are you talking about? I'm not a vampire. No, and you will never be one ever again. She threw me to the ground, almost clawing my face with her fingernails. Immediately, I scrambled up from the floor, running to my old bedroom door. Me dis pas qu'elle va nous tuer, genre. Ouais, ça serait trop chelou une, fin, une mauvaise fin avec elle. I locked it from the inside so I would she wouldn't come in. Me dis pas que c'est elle qui nous tue à chaque fois. What? You can run, my dear, but you can hide forever. Genre, c'est elle qui a engagé Chris pour nous tuer? You'll come back to me eventually because I'm your only choice to live. Tain, tain, tain. <laughs> oh mon dieu! C'était elle, tout long. The sound of her footsteps reached through my bedroom wall as she... F I thought, as the front door opened and closed from the last time. I was too afraid. T'étais sous nos yeux. C'est vrai, mais c'est pas... On savait juste qu'elle nous avait récupéré à, à la naissance et tout, mais... Y a rien qui disait que... C'était une extrémiste et tout, quoi. <rire> I was too afraid to come out of the bedroom door for another hour. Slumping down against the wall, I finally fell asleep. Hein? My phone? I unlocked my... Oh putain, je sais ce que ça veut dire <rire> On parie combien que elle envoyait Chris kidnapper Ron et puis pour euh, nous faire venir au café. <rire> oh mon dieu. I unlock my phone with facial recognition. To drag it and tear it from to use my fingers to properly enter my passcode. Uh, looks like a text. Who will text me at 2 a.m. in the morning? I rubbing my swollen eyes, I glance at it momentary. Come to the cafe or he dies, you'll save. On va encore mourir! 
I stopped breathing. It was an unknown number. I stiffened, realizing who it must be from. The murderer. Jumping out of my bed, I raced out of the house to meet my fate. <gasps> Attends. Eh. Oh non, 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 j'ai encore une autre idée. Euh, comment dire Je pense pas que ça soit elle qui veut nous tuer, mais plutôt euh, la société de vampires. Est-ce que vous vous rappelez qui est-ce qu'ils ont massacré les, euh... Enfin, ils disaient qu'ils tuaient à la naissance les, les bébés qu'ils avaient, euh, comment dire, le pouvoir de, de transformer des gens en vampires, là. Et elle, a dit qu'elle nous avait sauvés ou je sais pas quoi. Là. Ça se trouve, on est genre peut-être le, le dernier bébé qui a ce pouvoir-là. Et c'est pour ça qu'ils veulent nous tuer. Oh mon dieu. I was down the streets as fast as I could. Mais pourquoi Ah, puis du coup, elle m'a gardé, tu vois, pour... Quoi, vu que c'était euh, la... Ouais, révélation. Vu que c'est... Euh, comment dire elle qui avait fait le mouvement des Blue Bloods là pour euh, remplacer euh, les humains par des vampires, elle m'a gardé pour euh, peut-être en attendant qu'elle redevienne puissante et tout, et après se servir de moi pour retransformer les gens. Mon dieu. Ah le, le complot là. Le ah <rire> tightening text in my small phone write it down in my pocket heavily. All I could think about was Whether or not, the killer left him safe and untouched. Please, I prayed, let him be alright, please. Bon. Est-ce qu'on va mourir Est-ce que je vais ouvrir la porte et je vais me faire tuer Oh mon dieu, Illuminati sees us. I'm here. The door was left à dire, ah non J'aime pas ça, ce bruit de porte entre ouverte et tout. Reaching to a scarlet, scarlet door, I trembled in terror. As I made my way into the lobby, I saw there was already someone inside. I stepped back, ready to run, but then I saw who it was. Ronnie? Oh no! On est pas là! Oh dieu! Il est là? Ronnie? Wrapping my arms around him, I cried into my his chest. Ça veut dire que maintenant je dois m'enfuir pour, pour pas qu'il meure et... Ah! Oh non, ça va être dur. J'ai intérêt de save à chaque fois. Parce que là, euh, je, je, comment dire, j'ai déjà, j'étais arrivée à, un, à peu près à ça avec euh, Antoine. Et bon là, Ronnie, il a l'air d'être en forme, bizarrement. Antoine, lui, il avait pris une balle dans le ventre ou un truc du genre. Ou, et puis il est empoisonné aussi. Et euh, j'avais pas réussi à le sauver, j'avais réussi à le sauver que moi, mais maintenant, il faut sauver Ronnie <rire> et nous-mêmes. <rire> Uh, wrapping my arms around him, I tried into his chest. You're safe. Oh, thank God, you're safe. I was so worried about you. Come on. Suddenly, he pulled me with him, and together we ran down the streets. One's face was with strict and... En plus, si similar, c'est que... Avec lui, on est dans la merde parce qu'il est humain, alors euh, il va pas nous protéger comparé aux deux autres. Oh. On est dans la merde, c'est un spot again. With irritation, but one thing was for sure, he knew something was wrong. That's much for sure. Ah, merci pour le save, mais je peux pas save comme ça, il faut attendre un choix pour save. Euh, je sauvegarderai, t'inquiète, au prochain choix. Euh, as we run down in... Enfin, ouais, si, je peux, en soi, je peux sauvegarder n'importe quel moment, mais... Oh, Vas-y, attends. Ça te fait plaisir, on va save. Mais je préfère save au choix. Euh, we were both panting, cutting our breaths. Euh, alors, bah... <rire> À un texte pris, je, je crois que je vais écraser la sauvegarde. Euh... Et... Oh. Oh. 
Uh, we were both planting cutting on both. Ask him why he was at Café Rouge and brace him. Ask him. Uh, oh Ron, I'm so glad you're safe. I was so worried I... I hugged him again, shivering. Ronnie squeezed me back gently, rubbing my back to soothe me. Taking a, a, a deep breath, I pulled him away from me. What were you doing here in the middle of the night? How did you get in the cafe? Does, does Candice have a spare key or something? Did I go? Did you see anybody? Ron looked down at me, extremely confused. No, I was just... When I came, the door was open. I threw you were inside since I got this text. I thought it was from you, but then I saw you inside, outside. The door was open? Oh mon dieu! Ah! Then that must mean the murderer was only a few footsteps behind. He could still be fo following us. Run, listen to me. There's a lot of strange things happening at the cafe and last week the accident it wasn't an accident it was murder listen the murderer is right behind <gasps> no 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 run straight of keeping up and run look down gagging up it i see primal his body lost his it's balance and suddenly it didn't toward me. Ronnie? Oh putain, on est dans la merde et moi je peux pas le porter. <laughs> his pupils were unfocused and his entire weight fell on top of me. I tried to support him, grasp grasping at his back, but there was a warm liquid seeping through his shirt. <gasps> et puis nous, on. Comment dire, on supporte pas. On... Au risque même de tomber dans les pommes à cause de ça. My eyes widened as I recognized that transit scent. Ronnie, your blood bleeding, your run. He collapsed. Oh no, Ronnie was bleeding everywhere and it was hard not to faint from the putrid scent. My head was getting dizzy. In the midst of my confusion, I spotted. A shaded figure in the distance. The murderer. Ça part en cacahuète, ouais. <laughs> Scrambling up from the ground, I tore myself away from him and ran. Oh, pourquoi tu retournes... Oh, J'ai envie de la frapper. Pourquoi elle retourne au café Panic flooded through me as I finally made my way back to the café. Eh hey, mais c'est le pire endroit où aller Genre le mec qui connaît le café, quoi I only had a few seconds till the murderer called me. Oh, vas-y, il faut que je save à chaque fois là. Ah. Uh... Et de toute façon, je pense que le meilleur, euh, la meilleure solution, c'est d'aller à l'intérieur parce qu'il va me rattraper. Il court plus vite que moi. I didn't but just as I did. Quoi? <rire> mmh. Mais... Ok, je vais courir, j'ai rien dit. Ok, allez. On, on court. No, if I went inside, inside now, I will surely be a dead end. The murderer will definitely trap me inside. But where else co could I run? What, what if he find me and then he... Hello? <gasps> and glanced out at me, grabbing my arm. Ah, oh, putain, mes oreilles! Ah, ça fait mal! I screamed and slipped from his grasp. Opening the scarlet door. Oh, putain, au final, on se retrouve quand même au café. Ok, je sais pas c'était qui, mais. You can run, but you can't hide. Advice. I look back. No, I couldn't be. This is the Chris. Press is special pulling the trigger, but missed. I dove behind the clasp 
pastry casing. So a quick little thing I run through. My mind couldn't comprehend it. I quiz the murderer. No, it's not possible. Chris was always so nice to me. A good old bartender at the cafe. Unless you work for the Michaels, you're a blue blood. Quoi? Ah non, ma théorie était pas bonne alors, mais... Pourquoi ils veulent me tuer Chris raised his brow in genuine surprise. A moment later, he laughed mocking my... Ah oh non, peut-être que... Ouais, 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 il va nous dire que c'est pas ça. Mais il y a bleu blood. He aimed again, pulling the trigger and shattering the glass of the pastry. Gazing. Like I would ever work for that witch. I crawled closer to the... Con corner I was trapped. A real shame though. They actually sent me send me a, to deal with the owner of this place. What good timing on my part to find the blue blood found was right into my hand. Oh il l'avait envoyé pour tuer Antoine. Oh c'est pour ça qu'il l'a empoisonné. Ok. Now I can kill two birds with one stone. He then lunged out at me, grabbing my hoodie I was found. See you, kiddo, I'm a red blood. I work for the red ford, and my job is to eliminate the blue bloods. And that includes any filth that could infect the vampire race. He then raised up the gun, pressing it firmly against my forehead. There is a fine line between a Human and a vampire, and there are two vampire filth in this in the world. Snakes would turn a man into a vampire, and human bitten by this vile snakes. Oh hi! Oh oh hi! <laughs> Austin! Oh, how was your day, Austin? I oh, thank you for the flowers. <laughs> oh my god! I'm about to finish the game and I'm not dead yet. <laughs> for one time. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, let me do a song for you too. Hmm. Six months, Mina, are yay, half oh. a year of stream of fire. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Steam for the resub. Yay, six months. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> my god. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Let me try this as well. I don't want to die so again, but I'm so glad da, da, da. to win for one time. Da, da, da. Uh, what? His first punch on me right across the face. Oh. The impact made me gasp in shock, leaving my. Oh, you're singing? <laughs> Cute! My day candle messes fill food on my laptop. Oh no! <gasps> Is your laptop okay? Oh my god. <gasps> Tell me your laptop is okay. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't uh, eat on your desk. <laughs> uh, yep. That's not. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I'm so scared for you. Uh, oh, now you need to clean your <laughs> laptop uh, bag. Oh. The impact made me gasp in shock, leaving my cheeks stinging red. Like the little red candies. What? Don't talk about candies like that. Not wanting to give him the satisfaction of my pen, I spat in his face. Go to hell. <laughs> A little too late for that, don't you think? He smirked, wiping off my spit with his sleeve. <laughs> well, I really do pity you, both of you. You're both victims of those psychotic blue bloods. You should have never been born. Oh my god. Whereas that little human dread would have died a hundred years ago. What? Oh, you mean Candice? 
You mean Candace? Chris pointed his gun at me, smiling with an undertone of callousness. This was the end. I will never see Ronnie again. Sorry, kiddo. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he pulled the trigger. Nothing. <gasps> oh my god! He's a he has no bullet left! I can't run! Kick him! <laughs> the balls! <laughs> I ran away! <laughs> oh no! Oh god, I couldn't believe my luck. <gasps> Out of ammo at a time like this? <laughs> I passed out from under him. Oh my god, where should I go? Oh, I need to save. Oh my god. I uh, head into the kitchen, head into the dining hall. Ah, uh, uh, I think it's a dead end in the dining hall now. Uh, let's try the kitchen. Uh, I only had a few more seconds. Chris will come in soon. Just to be safe at Duck down, hiding myself behind the counters. The kitchen door opened a few moments later. You know, kiddo, it isn't safe for a girl to be alone by herself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Especially if that place is a vampire kitchen or the butchery. His footsteps echoed closer and closer. <laughs> oh no, I hope I didn't make the, the wrong choice. I crawled away to avoid this line of sight. Why don't you come out and we can have tea and... <gasps> he plucked a long butcher knife from the drawer. Oh no. <laughs> Brand brandishing it in the light, the glint of metal on my eyes for a moment as I fear paralyzed me. As fear paralyzed me. So we can end this little cat and mouse chase once and for all. My heart raced, <laughs> pumped by the adrenaline flooding into my system. In my system. Uh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't respond to him. Ah! Oh my god. Please don't kill me. Hide. We should hide. As quietly as I could. Manage, I opened the cabinet door, slipping myself inside and closed it tight shut. I know you're here somewhere. You can't hide forever, kiddo. It's right, but how could I defend myself? I had no weapon. I. Oh, another choice again. <sighs> How many times do I need to save? <laughs> I'm gonna be out of slots. <laughs> I wait until he leaves, confront him. Wait until he leaves. I swear I heard a laugh as he left. For the next five minutes, I stayed still. Hmm? I creaked open the cabinet door. He was gone. I was alone, but I couldn't stay for long. Rolling myself out, I dashed for the kitchen door. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. Don't go into the hall. Nobody empty. Too empty. Where did Chris go? Oh <gasps> no! <gasps> Finally! Something so fast angers my back of my head. No! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna try again the last save. Be our choice and confront him. If I die, I rather die trying. <laughs> uh, kicking open the cabinet door, I stepped out. You sure are, are a brave kiddo. My fingers fumbled for the closest thing I could find a butter knife. <laughs> I can't kill him with a butter knife. Chris laughed, mocking me. Provoked, I rushed toward him, ready to cut his face. No! I'm dead again. Oh. Okay. Wrong choice again. Um, let's try. 
This one. Okay, uh, ask him why. Why, well, why are you doing this? I thought we were friends. He rolled his eyes, pacing around the kitchen to find me. Kiddo, as much as I like toying with your little schoolgirl problems, I'm just doing my job. Think of it as a favor. You won't ever live the same miserable life Candice did. With your... With you gone, the Michaels won't ever have a chance of repeating my na, the story. Uh, 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 oh my uh, god! Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> but no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the reset, Panda! For months! Yay! <laughs> How was your day? Oh my god. <laughs> you scared me. J'ai... T'as quoi <rire> J'ai pas compris. <rire> it was okay, I was sleeping. Oh Why did you wake up What time is it for you, Zan It late I woke up for food. <rire> okay. It's 5 a.m. Ah <laughs> Go to sleep, panda. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna die again. <laughs> uh, your, your death will save hundreds of vampires alike from a man thief. Oh, thank you for the luck, panda. <laughs> A Chris's voice grew louder and louder, closer and closer. <gasps> um, oh my god, oh no, I need to save. Um, oh, maybe I got a chance. What should I do? Run upstairs, try to reason? Hmm. Ah, I love you too! <laughs> um, what should I do? Try to reason him or try to run upstairs? <laughs> I don't want to die again. What to do? I'm afraid that the two are the wrong choice. Okay, let's try to run upstairs. With no time to lose, I dashed out from my hiding spot. Chris spotted me immediately and followed behind. There was only one place left for me to go. Pressing up the dark star wall, I didn't look back. <gasps> oh my god, I made it! <gasps> okay, I think I know how to, to win. <laughs> I leaned against the office door after I locked it from the inside. Chris wouldn't be able to get in. I panted leaning down against the door. Then I heard Chris slamming on the office door. You can run, but you can hide. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he continued slamming the door. The banging noise wouldn't go away. Then it stopped. Oh. <gasps> I'm not even here for signing. <laughs> the knife pulled in an... Out of the door. There was nothing I could do but watch in terror. You know you... You're really getting into my nerve, kiddo. And that really ever happens. The knife... Serrated... In and out of the hardwood ship... Shipping the door in two bits and pieces. You can't stop this right now, Chris. You don't have to do this. Think of all the people you'd be hurting, all the vampires you, you're warming. Of mercy on your own kind. Laughter was the only reply I heard on the other side. Chris continued to stab the door, jabbing the knife in and out. Your knife, they astonished me sometimes. Honestly, I would have thought uh, you've learned by now. The end justify all the means for vampires. 
That includes killing all aunt brothers and sisters. Till you went through my spine. I couldn't con conceive the amount of evil he stated in that one sentence. We are vampires. We are cruel beasts and monsters of the human race. We may look like humans. We may speak and eat like humans, but we are far from a human. Tragedy follow us from cradle to coffin and whenever we like it or not, we are forced to bring doom to over as well as yourself. Half of the wood shipped away and I could see his face through the door. Chris pulled the knife out one last time. To afford mercy or morality of any kind mean death. Oh mon dieu, mais <rire> il, y en a il a fini avec son monologue Chris là, j'en ai marre. I was who can't accept this destiny of sin cannot survive. They hang onto a piece of humanity that doesn't exist which in turn will kill them. Isn't rich through the door? Unlocking the door! <gasps> And I choose to live. My mind rests to figure out a way to escape. This would come in a few seconds and I had half a second to spare. But I was trapped and the only way out was the door and my eyes start to the window. No worries, worries kiddo, it'd be quick and painless. I unlocked the... Bringing open the window. No. It was too high for anyone to climb down. Ok, bon à toi <rire> Tu m'as raté la fin. <rire> bah, en vrai, je, te, je, je vais te dire ce qui se passe, vu que j'ai déjà réussi dans le passé à tuer Chris, mais... Genre, on va faire semblant qu'on on a sauté par la fenêtre en la laissant ouverte, et on va le pousser. <rire> Comme ça, qu'on va survivre. A wolf surely fall. Fall. Chris kicked open the splintered door. I dove behind the office desk hiding. Chris's line of vision went for the window first. The chase ends here, though running is useless now. He marched to the open window looking outside. I crawled out, emerging from behind the desk. I will not die. Putting myself up from the floor, I launched forward. The force of my hand knocked him through the open air and he fell through. Gravity did the rest, pulling his body down to earth. For a split second, our eyes met. The surprise was clear on his face as the errors had beat him at his own game. <gasps> His body met the pavement with a second crack. Oh. Tiens. Karma. I covered my eyes, very, but I could from the sight of his death. When, oh, oh, mon dieu, en plus, il est tombé sur son. J'ai pas vu. The knife slashed clear through his chest while his eyes were glare glazed over his in fixed shock. shock. I won. <gasps> I stare in a daze. All I could hear was the sound of my own breathing and the all of the cold wind. Then I remembered, run. I raced out of the cafe. Run, where are you? My mind was frantic searching. searching. How could I have left him bleeding in the streets? What if he... I shivered of the thoughts. Turning round the corner, I found him. My face rained. No! I dropped down to my knees be beside him. Run, laid still. The pool of blood had already dried into the pavement. Could it be? Run, I fluttered open and he really turned to look at me. Oh my god, he's still alive. <gasps> Run! You're going to be okay. Stay with me, okay? Stay with me. I caressed his face with my shaking fingers. Every second that passed only trained his one further. His skin was ice cold. 
My mind was so concerned about Ron. I didn't even notice I was trying to reach over to wipe my tears. My angel. He smiled. Slowly, he started to lose focus. Ron, no, stay with me, come on, stay with me. His smile stayed on his face. Little by little, his hand began to slump. I pressed it firmly against, against my face, supporting him. Ronnie? His eyelid dropped. I, I watched it as he you know, a long ra rasping breath. And he exhaled, releasing an exasperated sight. My heart dropped. Run! He stopped breathing. No, no, no! My mind refused to accept it. Bending down, I pressed my ears against, against his chest. There's no single heartbeat. Ronnie, get up! We gotta go! His head slumped to the side. I started pumping his chest. Nothing. Help! I looked around frantic. Help, please! Anybody! My please echoed into the empty streets. Lips quivering, I looked back down. It was so cold. Wrapping Ron's arm around me, I cuddled it into his freezing flesh. I had to keep him warm. Closing my eyes, I fell asleep with him. Footsteps echoed closer and closer. It was staring to get freezing cold, but I didn't dare leaving him. Oh darling, what are you doing lying with a corpse? I didn't need to look up to see who it was. Oh. Yeah. She snapped her fingers. More fo footsteps echoed, increasing in numbers. Take her back to my place and get rid of the corpse. Use force if you need. Long arms started praying me from me. I struggled helplessly, thinking on to run. I couldn't leave him. Who would hold me now? Who would hug me and tell me I was special now? Who would love me? No, run, run! I couldn't feel my heart crush into oblivion as they finally tore me away from him. No, no! <laughs> I wanted to die. For the rest of my miserable life, Mr. Michaels used me as her slave. Her medication poisoned my body as I became more and more dependent on the pills I've been eating my entire life. Repeating his story, she planned to use me to start another mass conversion of vampire. I would never see the light of the day again, for if I ever escaped the blue bloods. The red bloods would only find me. It was death either way. Every time I close my eyes, I only see one face in mind. Patiently, I waited for the day death would finally take me so I could meet Ron again. I don't know what I was thinking of this end, horrible. survécu dans d'une certaine manière mais Ron c'est pas le cas et euh, on se retrouve euh, de, de la mère de Valen c'est chaud bon je pense que c'est tout pour aujourd'hui on essaiera d'avoir une autre fois hein, une prochaine Euh, on, on va essayer de trouver quelqu'un à Red. Ok, Pko. Oh, Kira. Vas-y, ouais, on va. On va Red, Kira. Elle m'arrête beaucoup en plus ces derniers temps et ça fait un moment. Elle joue à Colorful Recolor. Recolor. Je sais pas trop c'est quoi. Je sais pas si elle est encore en. Si c'est un. Un stream normal ou si c'est encore euh, on se bâton. 
Comme d'hab, alors copier ce message pour le raid et si vous êtes abonné, celui-là. Et n'oubliez pas de dire bonjour à Kira, bien sûr. J'ai pas encore prévu pour mon planning de la semaine pro, mais... Comme d'hab, vous trouverez sur Twitter et sur le Discord. Euh, je pense que j'essaierai de faire un stream dessin. Euh, bah, du coup, j'en ai, je vais en avoir deux à faire. J'ai une commission que je dois travailler et euh, le prix du gagnant. Encore, faudrait voir s'il m'a répondu d'ici là. Euh, ouais, on verra bien. Je sais pas si je ferai du Genshin du coup. Peut-être que je remplacerai ça par du dessin. Puis... Enfin, je sais pas, on verra bien. En plus, on ne sait pas encore ce que je vais faire vendredi. Je dirais quoi. Je vous fais des gros bisous. Passez une, euh, une bonne fin de soirée. Et euh... soyez gentil avec Kira. Et euh, on se voit à la semaine pro. Bye bye Good night.